ओके नाउ सी वी आर डूइंग असाइनमेंट नंबर वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ओके दे सेड अ बैलेंस स्टार कनेक्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू राइट इट डाउन दैट बैलेंस स्टार कनेक्टेड वाई मीन स्टार ओके एंड वन सेकेंड so now see in this question they said a balanced star connected right so what is basically a star why means star and they said the phase impedance phase impedance means zph value they have given as 40 plus j25 is supplied by a balanced positive sequence positive sequence is rybb so you don't need to do anything your normal sequence is the positive sequence only then they said delta connected source with a line voltage of 210 so there is one source and there is one load yes or no now they said the source is delta connected they have mentioned a delta connected source so source is delta connected and they have mentioned the balanced no 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 it in every question it's not there that will be depending on what they have given in the question okay so this is the said delta connected source source is delta connected and load is star connected star is like this so let us consider the load is star connected so it would be like this the star connection is like this now so this is r right this is y right and this is b now the delta connected delta connected is the supply so supply will denote it like this now this is r right this is y right and this is b correct so both wires are connected from the source to load r is connected with r y is connected with with y b is connected with v correct now this impedance they have said 40 plus j25 and the line voltage this is they said delta connected source with the line voltage line voltage and line phase voltage in the delta it is same right that is 210 volt correct so this is the sorry 210 10 volt this is they have given right now see what they have asked calculate the phase current right they ask you to calculate the phase current that is iph line current and the power consumed by the load so basically they are asking for the load side load side means this current they are asking right so load side is connected star connected so in the star connection current is same so we we'll, we can calculate il that would be equal to iph yes or no so you we know the formula vph is equal to iph multiplied by zph yes or no so zph is given 40 plus j25 iph we need to calculate now we need to calculate vph right now see the voltage between r and y this is the r and y voltage so this is also the r and y voltage so can we say that voltage v r y across the load is 210 volt yes or no because it's a parallel connection and the voltage is same if here the voltage is 210 then in that case here also the voltage must be 210 right or not okay now the voltage is 210 can you tell me this vry is the line voltage or the phase voltage it's the line voltage very good vl is equal to 210 but for our calculation we need phase voltage here na so how, what is the formula vl is equal to root 3 vph so vph would be equal to vl by root 
VL is 210 divided by root 3. Correct? So now we got finally that VPH is equal to IPH multiplied by ZPH. Right? So VPH is how much? VL by root 3. IPH we need to calculate. And ZPH is 40 plus J25. 40 plus J25. Yeah. So, IPH that would be 210 divided by root 3 is equal to 40 plus J25, right? Now, you can solve it further. You know, Z is equal to root of R ka square plus XL ka square. If I'll compare it from this, then R is 40 and XL is 25. So, 40 ka square and 25 ka square. You will solve it, then you will get the final value of IPH. Correct? So, finally, it would be how much? 210 by root 3 multiplied by 1 by root of 40 ka square plus 25 ka square. So, you will get IPH that must be equal to IL because they are talking about the load. Load is the line uh, star, so it is same current. Next thing they are asking the power consumed by the load. So, what is the power formula? P is equal to root 3 VL IL cos phi or P is equal to 3 VPH IPH cos phi. Cos phi 3 we know, VPH we know, IPH we can get it from here. Cos phi is R by Z. R is how much? 40. And Z is how much? Root of 40 ka square plus 25 ka square. Next is the phasor diagram. In the phasor diagram, they are asking for the load side. Load side is connected across star. So now I am telling you the phasor diagram for the star. Okay. Remember the star connection was like this. R, Y, B. And in the star connection, voltage is different. So, we'll draw the voltage phasor diagram. Okay. Like suppose, we'll have the three line voltage. One is VRY, right? Another one voltage is VYB. Another voltage is RB, right? So, it should be in the same sequence. Remember, they have said positive sequence. Positive sequence means R, Y, B. R, Y, Y, B and B, R. Okay? R, Y, Y, B and R, B. Or we can say B, R. Now, the angle between all these three line voltages is 120 degree. These are 120 degree apart. Got it? Draw the diagram up to here first. We have to draw two phase voltage. Okay? Like this. As VRY is there, so one of the phase voltage is VYN and another phase voltage is VRN. VRY is divided into two components. One is VYN and another is VRN. Okay? Extend it. One of the component is always positive and one of the component is always negative. You can take any one of the component positive and any one of the component negative. So, if it is positive VYN extended, then it will become minus VYN. Okay? If it is negative VYN extended, it will become plus VRN. Got it? So, this shows that VRY is contains two component one is vyn and one is vrn right now vyb the, uh, the uh, again line voltage this line voltage must have two phase voltage component can you tell me what are those phase component voltage vyb must be equal to vyn and vbn v y n see 
if it's v r y then it is further divided into two component one is v r n one is v y n okay if it is v y b then it is further divided into two component one is v y n one is v b n okay one is v r b v r b is divided into two component one is v r n and v b n now got it okay back to the phasor diagram one is v y n now tell me the another component another component is v b n always draw this line as a straight line because you need to extend it right if it is positive vbn then it would be minus vbn correct so this vyb has two component one is vyn one is vbn right this vbr has two component one is vbn and one is vrn so this is the phasor diagram note it down up to here first the angle between the line voltage and the phase voltage is always 30 degree v r y is the line voltage and v y n is the phase voltage so you can write down angle between line voltage and the phase voltage is always 30 degree this is also 30 degree okay similarly you can draw it here 30 30 30 so this is complete phasor diagram so that was the phasor diagram for star now i am teaching you the phasor diagram for delta ir iy ib these are the line current remember i told you so if these are the line current draw first the line current okay like in the star we draw first the line voltage right let us consider this one as ir this one as iy this one as ib okay angle between all these are 120 degree correct this is suppose 1 2 3 this is i12 this is i13 this is i32 right so as we have done earlier ir the line current is divided into two components the phase current right now from here you can see ir is made up of which two phase current i13 and i12 right so we can write it like this i13 over here sorry i12 over here and i13 over here one of the component is positive another component is negative right so if it is positive i12 we can do it as negative i12 if it is negative i13 we can write it as positive i13 okay now we need to uh draw the phase component of iy now see this iy is made up of which two phase component i12 and i32 i12 is already there i32 we need to make it as i told you it must be a straight line extend it it would be a minus i32 so this is the phasor diagram again the angle between the line current and the phase current is always 30 degree now from the same assignment number 4 in the series rc circuit okay so let's draw first rc circuit excited by the alternating voltage that is connected across a voltage how much 50 cos 100 t with r is equal to 5 ohm r is 5 ohm c is 0.02 farad 0.02 farad compute the following rms value of voltage vrms so 
so they have given the voltage in the form of equation 15 cos 100t right i told you the standard equation is sine now so 15 sine to convert it into sine we need to add 90 degree angle so this is your standard equation which you consider the volt for the voltage now we need to calculate vrms vrms is how much max by and the standard equation is how much v is equal to v max sine of omega 3 plus 5 so v max is if we'll compare it we'll get it as 15 so 15 by root 2 that is v rms the first part answer that is 15 by right next they are asking the impedance impedance formula is root of r square plus xc square but for that we need to calculate xc xc is equal to 1 by omega c so omega is given if we we'll compare it omega is 100 c is 0 0.02 farad right so we can substitute the value then we'll get impedance now the steady state current they are asking the current basically in the equation form okay for that i is equal to v by z v we already know 15 by root 2 because we need to take rms value always right and z we can get it from here but they are asking the current in equation form so i is equal to i max sine of omega t plus phi right i of t they said na to so i max we can get it by i rms into root 2 because from here we'll get i rms only correct and uh, sine as it is omega value is also same that is 100 t now the question is how can we get phi right so for phi we have formula of power factor what is that formula cos phi is equal to r by z we have r we have z can we get phi that is r uh, cos inverse of r by z right so this phi is the angle between voltage and current right so it's rc obviously then current would be leading see in this case voltage is at 90 degree okay so current uh, we need to draw it like this suppose this is zero degree wait 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 this is zero degree voltage angle is 90 degree okay and phi we are getting the angle between voltage and current so whatever you are getting the value add 90 degree because phi you are getting so phi is how much you are getting phi is you are getting 45 degree so that means for the current you are getting now this is voltage angle between the voltage and the current is 40, uh, 45 right so this must be how much the complete current 90 plus 45 so this must be 90 plus 45 this is how you will get the current equation got it basically this is phi is the angle for the current right so phi is the complete angle voltage angle is 90 degree and the phi we are getting as 45 means the angle between voltage and current Now, after this, 
you need to calculate active